I greatly miss Emmanuel, my friend and colleague at Harvard. Since our offices were just across the hall, we spent a lot of time together on issues both economic and personal. Many people have discussed his brilliant mind and publications, including the recent work on production networks that's likely to be his most important scholarly contribution. I will briefly ins describe instead two personal anecdotes. First, probably my worst time at Harvard was in 2010 when I helped the department chair, John Campbell, to persuade the Committee on Appointments and Promotions that Emmanuel deserved tenure. Among the committee's 15 or so members, all but two, one of whom was married to a colleague of mine, seemed to be hostile. We even had to deflect an argument from a sociologist that Emmanuel's enthusiastic outside letters did not really count because the economics profession had somehow managed to collude to support his chosen stars and to drive up salaries. But somehow we persuaded the committee that Emmanuel was extraordinarily brilliant, clearly deserving of tenure and a key resource for the economics department. Second, there was a the matter of my old Audi stick shift that I bequeathed to Emmanuel in 2008. It was a wonderful car and Emmanuel said that he greatly loved driving it. But at some point when I asked him how the car was doing, Emmanuel admitted that he had left it with open windows overnight on Commonwealth Avenue in Boston, where it had been flooded out by a violent rainstorm, leading to the car being totaled. I felt like I had lost a child, but fortunately, Emmanuel was a much better economist than he was a steward of automobiles. <laughs> 